Good morning. This is uh, Thursday, March 30th, and today's devotion is holiness or hardness towards God. This is Isaiah 59. He wondered that there was no intercessor. The reason many of us stop praying and become hard towards God is that we only have an emotional interest in prayer. And what he means by that is we get in a pinch and we start throwing up prayers. It sounds good to say that we pray, and we may read books on prayer, which tell us that prayer is beneficial, that our minds are quieted and our souls are uplifted by prayer. But Isaiah is implying in this verse that God is amazed at such thoughts about prayer and that we should know this by constantly praying. Worship and intercession must go together. One is impossible without the other. Intercession means raising ourselves up to the point of getting the mind of Christ regarding the person for whom we're praying. That's Philippians 2.5. Instead of worshiping God, we recite speeches to God about how prayer is supposed to work. In other words, we say this needs to happen and this needs to happen, not thy will be done. Are we worshiping God or disputing him when we say, but God, I just don't see how you're going to do this. This is a sure sign that we are not worshiping. When we lose sight of God, we become hard and dogmatic within our prayer life. We throw our petitions at his throne and dictate to him what we want him to do. We don't worship God through our prayer time, nor do we seek to conform our minds to the mind of Christ. And if we are hard towards God, we will tend to become hard towards the people. Are we worshiping God in a way that will raise us up to where we can take hold of him, having such intimate contact with him that we know his mind about the ones for whom we pray? Are we living in a holy relationship with God, or have we become hard and dog dogmatic? Again, is there the sense of thy will be done in our prayer requests? Do you find yourself thinking that there's no interceding properly? then be that person yourself. Intercede for someone. Be a person who worships God and lives in a holy relationship with him. And that's this whole thing that Oswald's talking about today is relationship. Be a person who worships God and lives in a holy relationship with him. Get involved in the real work of intercessory prayer, remembering that it truly is work. Work that demands all of our energy, but work which has no hidden pitfalls. It's just straight ahead, the relationship with God, when praying for thy will to be done. Preaching the gospel has its share of pitfalls, but inter intercessory prayer, wherein it's just us and God, they have no pitfalls. So the challenge I have is, dare we bring on our prayer lives and bring them to this level, to a place where we can freely pray, thy will be done, in whatever it is we're bringing to God in our petitions. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today that you challenge us uh, through Oswald every day. And today, Lord, we want to be that prayer warrior where we are so free in our prayer request that we don't throw them at your throne, but we kneel before your throne and we say, thy will be done within whatever it is we're bringing to you. Whether it's our job, our homes, our children, our finance, we give it to you freely and say, thy will be done. We love you, Lord, and we give you this day in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.